Well, I always consider myself very fortunate that I played in the 70s, and that's when the big money arrived. Right up they Teasdale. go. Great mark by Teasdale. High flyers go up, and looks like Teasdale again. Up there is Teasdale. What a mark. I had a great year. I won the league goal kicking, and I was on $3 a game. What? $3 was a lot of money in those days. Brownlow medal of 1977 to Graham Teasdale. Well, in those days, it was a, a football award. These days, it's a multimedia celebration. You had just football people there in those days, so I was a little bit numb after uh, I'd actually won it. I was a 22-year-old, you know, fairly fresh from the bush, and uh, it's not something you expect to do. Well, the suit was never, ever my choice. In those days, if you're over six foot two, you found it difficult to get clothes that fit. And the guy said, oh, look, don't worry. I've got the suit that'll fit but it's at the other store. And of course, being 22, I didn't bother picking it up until about two hours before the Brownlow. And then he bought this brown thing out, and I thought, oh, Jesus. But I thought, well, the Southern Cross is pretty dark. No one's going to notice. And that happened to be the year. The hipsters are starting to bring it back. It's good to see. You're always a Brownlow medalist. You know, different people have come up to me and, and said, well, you know, I kicked six goals in a grand final and nobody remembers me, but they always remember that stinking brown suit of yours. Three cheers for the 1977 Brownlow medalist. Pip, pip. Great. We've got a regular club of just over 50. There's always one or two dies just to fit the new guys in. I think the league's organised that, so they don't have to give away more than 50 groups of tickets. Ha, 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 ha.